Alright, so. Um, I believe we're good. Um. I'm just waiting on Justin to approve the live. Um, copy link. Okay. Cool. Uh, so everybody should have the um, the live link now. Uh, so we will go ahead and um, grab the code from Aiden. Four, five, six, five, one, two, three, four, four zeros. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Um, yeah, so I'm a little bit like kind of out of sorts uh, today. Um, just got back from my run. Uh, but here we are. I'm going to go ahead and uh, check out the chat. Let's see. All right. What's up, Josh? What's up, Brandon? How y'all doing? All right. What up, Rob? Am I mic muted or no? Hold on. Okay, no. Okay. Okay. I double check. Um, so Aiden's team is a little tricky. A lot of taunt stuff, man. Um, a lot of problems for Vinia, to be honest with you. Uh, it's going to be very hard to get Sun working um, effectively. So, like... I have a plan, kind of. Of just like doing something a little weird and a little different. We're gonna see how it works. Um, the thing is, is I'm not like there, it's almost impossible to get Trek Room off here. Uh, he has taunt on two out of the six Pokemon he brought, uh, so you can guarantee on every match here he's gonna bring a taunt user. Um, so the thing is, is Desclops can struggle very heavily against the taunt users, right? So what we're going to want to do is we want to kind of bait out taunt, I think. So I don't know. I'm kind of... It's going to be interesting to see how we play this, this game. Honestly, this is a really rough team for us to face. Because he has, he has beat up stuff, you know, Talon Flame can just uh, priority Brave Bird and pretty much just smack the hell out of Vinny, uh, out of Vinnysaur. Um, so it's not a great, it's not, it's, it's honestly not a great matchup for us. Um, we'll see what happens. I am nervous about it um i really don't know how, how i want to play it you know most time when you go into a game you kind of have a game plan um especially with open team sheets it's very difficult because you don't want to overthink your opponent um so we're going to kind of go in and i haven't really used sun too much so we're going to try sun first and just kind of hope that 
Uh, sun is the trick. Um, and we'll, we'll, we'll go from there. Let me see what's up. He still hasn't picked his team yet. Alright, sorry, I guess he's best for me to battle. Uh, just let me overthink things a little bit, you know, nothing wrong with it. Uh, so yeah, uh, good luck, have fun to Aiden, and let's, let's try our best. Uh, so yeah, yeah, Julius, this is uh, our top eight match for the uh, tournament. So I guarantee one of my clans going to the top four. Um, all right, so, um, the question is here, what do I think you lead? Honestly, Coco does so good for you, right? And so does everything else. Thanks, bro. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it goes better than what I think it's going to, man. Mm. All right, Talon Flame and Coco. Oh, it's a lucky Coco. It's a lucky Coco. Okay. Um. So the thing is, right? The thing is, Let's see here. Um, one play he could make is he could just Thunderbolt and max Airstream with Coco. Um, that should kill Venusaur, honestly. And depending on the speeds here, I actually don't think I'll outspeed Coco uh, with a minus one. So it is going to be, yeah. Uh, he's going to go ahead and just max here. Uh, it should be Electroweb Airstream uh, after Electroweb. It should still be faster um, than Venusaur, and Airstream will just kind of seal the match. Let's see here. Um, oh. One play. You're going to get a little echo for that. I'm sorry. So he goes Rising Voltage in Torkoal. Um, so the good thing is, is that means no... So I should have quaked then. I was expecting the... Uh... I didn't even know you had rising voltage on that thing. That actually changes it so much. <laughs> it does. Um... So we're gonna go on the top of Finney.
So if he doesn't read the max guard here, that's really good for me. Um, because water and vine lash would kill, should kill Coco, and uh, do a nice chunk to the Reggie Lucky. Um, and then I mean, because Reggie Lucky outspeeds Venusaur, so that's the one bad thing. Oh, he does Rising Voltage, Tapu Fenny. It's off terrain, so it does not pick up the kill. He airstreams that. So now we just don't want to miss Muddy Water. Great. That's that's unfortunate. Um, so that should be that should be GG, guys. There's a web. Um, that should allow him to outspeed now. There's the lightning in the Vino. Yeah, that miss was unfortunate. If we would have hit, if we could have hit Coco earlier and picked up that kill there. Uh, that would have been really good because then we get at least, we at least guarantee the quake into either Reggie Lucky and pick up the kill on this turn, which gives us a two v two, or we get damage into the next mon since you know. Um, so that's a little that's just a little unfortunate. It, it it basically does. I think that does cost the game one here. Um, it just it was is it lost too much momentum. Um, he doesn't have anything that's going to trigger defiant either, so that's like the other issue there. Um, so he should just rising voltage into thunderous and gale wings, or uh, flame actually would probably be better because he's uh, doing that. I think I have I kind of have to just go double protect here. How many turns of Vine Lash do I have left? I have one, so it's not going to pick up the kill. But it may with like damage from something else. So this is like our only thing. We don't get the double protect, so that is what it is. So Electro Web should pick up the KO on Finny. On terrain, it does. Um, and then Talon Flame should flare blitz here. I'm surprised he did go Electro Web just because of the thing. Um, act activate and Defiant, but you know, in Sun, flare blitz is physical, so you can avoid the uh, thing. Like I said, this is just a really crappy team for me to deal with. I don't have a lot of checks into it. Um, Yeah, one out in games. Right. So, um, like I was explaining uh, in the little pre prelude type deal, I was waiting to connect. Um, I I can't use my trick room out very effectively here because he has two taunt users on the team. Um, and then, like I mentioned, um, basically with the Reggie Lucky offering really good speed control, and then having um. Both priority Brave Bird uh, and Tapu Coco that can both just go off. Um, it pretty much shuts the deal on all that. Uh, you have Beat Up Weavile and um, his Justified user. So it kind of almost forces me to go Venue up front on turn one.
So it's definitely a very solid core, um, especially against Sun teams, right? Because a lot of Sun Room cores like mine, uh, you know, you're either going to want to go fast and hit with Venusaur or you want to kind of, you know, get Trick Room off early and then run, like I'm running this back Torkoal, so you want to use Heat Wave or Eruption and get a crap ton of damage off. Um, so he's going to go with the same lead to this game. Uh, we did bring Dust Clops. Um, So what Dustclops is going to let us do here is The question is, is, does he taunt? I think he taunts. Crap. Oh, he actually did not taunt. Um, so that's bad for us. Uh, if he doubles into the Tapu Coco, it's not too much of an issue. Uh, I'm sorry, if he doubles in the dust flops, um, that would be ideal here. Uh, or if he just doubles Venusaur and says, you know what, uh, I think I can handle everything else Chris brought, that would be ideal too. Um, because I'll lose my max, but honestly, uh, between Glass Deer and Torkoal with Specs, like I can hit like so much stuff really, really well if I can have Trick Room up. So it's kind of just a... Uh, whether he lets me have it. So Rising Voltage, Electric Terrain. I don't know if he's Magnet or not. Um, so that almost kills. He Lightnings Torkoal too. So he is going to go ahead and go for that. Um, I do not know if he is Sash or not. Um, it's probably a good thing. I, I, I should have probably looked that up. That would have probably been smart, huh? Um, it is indeed a Sash. <laughs> So we get the special defense increase. Let's see. Hey bro, in this term type of term, I think it's better than carry pressure. Uh yeah, I'd probably agree on pressure dust clops because we already know all the items. Um Honestly, I didn't even really, like, do a lot to gen this team up. I kind of just uh, said, okay, and just kind of went with it. Um, so I'm going to try. The thing is, I don't know if I'm faster or if. I'm going to go ahead and get this out, and I'm going to sack Tapu Finney. He should airstream into my uh, Ven Ven Venusaur here. So we're going Finny just to change terrain. Um, I, I lived one rising voltage. If I can live one more, that's great. Vine Lash will connect here in the Coco. We already know it does a lot of damage. Um, and then here is the airstream. As long as he doesn't crit, if he crits, that's just some. That's just annoying. All right. So that takes out that. Uh, Coco is going to die from the uh, Vine Lash and Life Orb Recoil in one to two turns. I 
I should still outspeed Coco. It's at plus one. He does go Talon Flame. So basically here, what he's going to do is he's going to Brave Bird with priority in the venue, and then he's going to go ahead and Lightning the Tabu Finny, uh, because, you know, the protects are kind of obvious because it's what has to be done here. Uh, you know, there really isn't any other play. Uh, the only good thing is that it shuts down Talonflame with this little uh, chip to his health here. Talonflame will go down, uh, lose its ability for Gale Wings to activate because it won't be at full health. Uh, so we at least don't have to worry about priority uh, flying default subsequent turn. Um, and I don't have a speed drop, so I should still outspeed Talonflame. Um, let's see, it is Terrakion up top here. Raises defense, but not physical defense. Question is, is does his Terrakion have protect or not? I don't remember. Um, I'm trying to think here. Man. Um, I think Terrakion does have protect. I think Talonflame was goggles or something, right? I don't think I win this game. Terrakion should protect here. Um, I don't have the damage output into um, Talon Flame to pick up the KO. So he should Brave Bird. Kills Venusaur. And then Heat Wave will probably do like 20, 30% if it hits. Um, so that's the one thing we don't want to be missing Heat Waves here. Um, it actually does a, does a chunk. It's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. Alright, so now the question is... Does Terrakion, what does it have? It has Rock Slide, right? I'm assuming. I mean, I would carry Rock Slide on it. So, uh, he'll probably Rock Slide Brave Bird here for damage. Uh, he'll lose Talonflame, but he'll, should still do a chunk. Talonflame should die from Recoil. And then Terrakion will pick up the KO with Rock Slide, I'm assuming. Um, well, I might live one Rock Slide, actually. Um, but this will so this will be a single target heat wave in sun with specs. Oh, it's stomp! He has stomping tantrum. I wasn't expecting that. So that definitely changes things up here. Um, yeah. So that should be a GG. I mean. Stomping Tantrum can't miss. I was kind of hoping he did, didn't did have it and had Rock Slide, but makes sense to carry it. And, yep. That is a game over, guys. Um, so this is what I was talking about um, to a few people when uh, I submitted the team. I know if you saw it. Like, this team was very, very rushed. Uh, I'll pull it up real quick. Um and show you guys uh, just to kind of decompress the team a little bit because uh, it might help you all when you're building for uh, Series 8. Um, so for this team, if we look at it, uh, 
Um, this is the team. So, if, first of all, first and foremost, uh, the Thunderous has a wasted move slot with the Protect because you can't use it because of the Assault Vest. Uh, the reason for that was I actually accidentally ginned a uh, Prankster variant. Um, so, like, you couldn't use anything effectively, right? Because it was Prankster with three attacks and Protect and a Navy. It just had, like, five different issues with it. Um, I was allowed to change it to Defiant, at least. Um, but... Of course, with that, as you can see, I, I didn't change Protect. I felt like that was a little too unfair for me to be able to change Protect because uh, I could add a move to kind of counter whatever my opponent's most used mons are. So I kind of left Protect on there uh, as a waste of move slot for now. Uh, the Tapu Finny, if we look at it, um, if it's really nice on the core as far as terrain coverage, uh, and then, of course, you see we have the Sun and Sun. Um, now... Then we have the Dust Clops of Glass Deer. So the first issue with this team is it lacks redirection, I think. So to be honest with you, the Thunder slot could be swapped out for a redirection user to allow you to get the Trick Room off. Because uh, right now with the team, if you think of uh, really good Trick Room teams that feature Glass Deer, a lot of them would use Rage Powder and Moongus or Follow Me and Didi. Um, and Didi, of course, also stopping Fake Out as well with its terrain. So your opponent could still they could swap and then get terrain but the terrain wars were very important in series seven uh so i think if anyone uses a variance a variation of the suncore team that would be the one change that i think you really should look into just because you want trick room accessible right uh it's not always going to be there especially in an open format team sheet style uh you know where there's a lot of ton options or you know it's easy to double up in the dust clops now so if you have you know something on terrain getting boosted and then you have something else that can max and hit uh you, you can have a shot to shut it down um you also got to think of like different flinch moves and stuff um so that's the first thing i would just suggest to anyone looking at a core team for seven is definitely remember to bring your follow me or rage powder uh kind of you know variation to help get your trick room off right because you don't want to build a team with the lack of trick room being easily accessible, right? I mean, you can still get shut down by Imprison, but you know it's there. It's a little bit different. Now, the Taunts, you can't shut down Taunts because a lot of them are priority or fast Taunt users to get the Taunt off. Um, so I think that's the one change I would I would, I would mm -hmm. make to my Series uh, 8, my first Series 8 team that we, we've been using here in this tournament. Um, other than that, I think for that game, if we're looking at it, I think... Uh, that second game, I think we, I don't know. I think we, we could have tried the Trick Room option a little bit. I mean, but like I said, without the Follow Me redirection, uh, you kind of lose out to that. The And then, of course, because of Terrain, right, you lose the ability for Sleep. So the one thing you could do is if you wanted to get Trick Room off against a team that's running like Electric Terrain, uh, you kind of have to bring Finny to try and Terrain switch and then put stuff to sleep but you can't right because finny so you're still in the same issue um yeah i don't know i think uh, with that game i think it was definitely very important for us to uh play a little bit more better as far as offensive threats and especially trick room because we have a lot of slower mons uh our thunderous has very little speed investment uh i'm more bulk on the physical side and then I had the AV to cover special, I think max HP or near max HP. And then of course the attack stat as well, because mm -hmm. your best way to do it is gonna trigger Defiant, so it's harder to drop it down. Uh, so it's very attack oriented thunderous. Um, so because that doesn't have a lot of speed investment. Um, and then like everything else you see, my Tapu Finny is actually offensive. Um, it's fairly offensive with a little bit of bulk. Um, so it's going to be on the slower side as well uh, to kind of play in the trick room, uh, but it still has a natural speed enough to play that mid mid speed tier level. Um, you have the Vini Torkoal. Uh, that's going to be your slow with your fast one in one out, um, and then of course dust top fast deer, and then of course your ways to proc it. Uh, so yeah, overall I think great game by Aiden. I mean I I, I had nothing really to counter it with. Um, and when we look at the game, if we, we rewatch it, uh, I think the first game, I think the Tapu Finny miss was a little unfortunate because uh, that would have picked up Coco. And then we could have 
Uh, like I said, we could have either killed his, um, um, uh, crap. Um, yeah. We could have killed his Regieleki the subsequent turn. Or... And that would have kept Thunders a little bit more healthier to come out and um, fly over the Protect, hit it afterwards. You know, a little bit different play style. Um, but I think that would have been our best chance. And if we look at game two, I think we should have led a little bit more offensive. I think that uh, we should have led Tapu Finney to start just to stop the electric terrain right off rip and then swap out to um, Torkoal the tank one and then go ahead and just earth power the tapu coco turn one and get that out of the way uh that way if he maxes cool we're still hitting it super effective because we saw the max grass move it basically almost won it did i think 80 percent, 85 percent uh so i think if we max quake the tapu coco slot i think we could i think it might one hit ko it um and then of course we would sack our son, but our opponent didn't have a way to change weather if you know we killed his max. Um, and then of course we still preserve our dust slops glass deer in the back to just kind of n go for the you know slow bulky dust clops nightshade chip away and the glass deer that hit everything else really well. Uh, so I think that was our more of our win con was just prioritizing the tapu coco a little bit better with the uh, max quakes and then leading Finny. And swapping it to try and control the terrain to prevent the rising voltage spams. Um, but as always, I will rewatch my match and we'll look at it and kind of uh, see what we could do. And like I pointed out, this is the first thing that I've noticed playing with this team, even in the games we won, uh, that it was a little bit tricky to run Trick Room because of the lack of any type of redirection. So that's the one thing I always want to recommend to people. And for anyone in our group here who plays and just kind of hangs out and watches it, join the tournaments, man. Y'all can join these, and the teams don't even have to be perfect, right? Like, this team is a quick little throw together, but look what happened, right? I got three really good match games out of it and matches, and we were able to kind of identify issues with the team uh, to kind of rework it and play with it. And now we know, like, okay, we don't want Thunderous. I'd much prefer to have, like, an Amoongus or an Ndidi there to kind of give me control on the trick room side. And then of course you have helping hand with the Ndidi as well to now enable your other mons to do good. So that's a really good way. Uh, and then the Finny is also something we could consider replacing here on this team uh, because you're not worried about burn. So you could honestly run a Charizard, uh, another really good mon for a Suncore. We could run that um, over the Tapu Finny. That allows us a, another mon that benefits uh, to kind of go out and show off a little bit. And I'm trying to think of a couple others. There's a few others we could swap. So that's the important thing is just understanding what to change in your team. Um, and yeah, I'm talking a lot. So I will end the video and live stream there. Uh, as always, GG to Aiden. And uh, I hope you all enjoyed the battle and like the post game analysis part of it. I kind of wanted to do that for this one. Um, as a way to show y'all what to look at when you lose, right? What do you want to change in the future and moving forward to benefit the team to do better? That way y'all can kind of see what a lot of us do and how we go about the VGC aspects of team improvement and overall composition of the team and how we move things around and make it fit. Uh, so I kind of wanted to throw that little quick thing in here. Usually I try and just take notes of it.